Hey guys, DV here. I've got another Lightworks tutorial video for you. This one I'm calling uh, Lightworks Tips and Tricks, um, which is just some basics about editing workflows. So here I've just uh, set the project settings and changed the name of the uh, project. Now you can see here on the main menu window here, we've got some different options that can be changed. Uh, you can adjust the aspect ratio just by clicking and dragging, um, and that can create the cool widescreen and black bar look. You can change the zoom full frames. Um, there's a number of options that are available there. And um, basically, you can just uh, go ahead and close that window. Now if you're capturing from any kind of uh, capture card, camera, um, HD video, camcorder, this is very similar to Premiere in Vegas with the interface here for adjusting different um, codecs, uh, compressions, and choosing your input device using FireWire your destination on your hard drive. So there's a number of options there, but it's pretty similar to what you've done in other programs. Now if you go ahead and click on the import tool on the toolbar, you can select your video clips you'd like to import on into your uh, project. And once you've selected them, you can go ahead and change the video encoding to create a local copy, copy the local um, transcode. I usually do copy local. It seems to work the best. And then I know it's not changing any of my original footage change the destination drive then go ahead and click start. As you can see here it's going through each video um, enhancing downloading the audio of the video and then they're going to show up in a window here like a bin I think it's called. Now if you right click and left click on the video you can drag a thumbnail onto your workspace which is very useful for editing and then you can go ahead and you can close the bin and then you can go and select your first clip which we're going to use this one which is actually from the seeking trailer um, you may have recognized it from our trailer video a couple months ago. Now, what you do, you have the window open. If you go ahead and click on record and click on the timeline, which is the blue tool on the right hand side, then you can go ahead and import it into a timeline. You can go ahead and um, choose the spot on the timeline you'd like to uh, cut the video at. And then you go down to the bottom, click delete, and then you can either click remove or just simply drag the parts of the video you don't want off into a blank spot on the workspace and that basically is going to go ahead and delete it. Just make sure that you're dragging it when the arrow is black on the bottom rather than white otherwise it's going to mess it up. Now you can also go ahead and right click on the timeline and select group and then you can group the audio together, the video tracks. Um, you cannot group audio and video though, that's one thing that you can't do um, using that feature. And then you can go ahead and add another video track, audio track, before or after. I just named this one DV and did it before so that it comes up on top. You can go ahead and also turn off different tracks if you want to on the side there, which is kind of useful. And when you're finished with the edit, you go over and you click the pop tile out on the uh, video window on the preview spot. And then it's going to pop out the edited clip onto your workspace, so then you can use it later on. So we're going to go ahead and repeat the process for this. Go ahead and click on record, which then opens it for editing. Only one window can be open for editing at a time, which I guess prevents headaches later on. So then I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose two spots on the timeline that I'd like to split the clip. Sometimes you have to click join if it pops up. And then you can go ahead and you can drag these off. But you see there I dragged half of them and then the other part of it I just clicked on remove. Now if I go ahead and click join I can group the tracks as well. I'm just going to group the audio to make it a little more manageable. And here you can see the video tracks how if there's multiple ones you could group those as well. And then when you're finished, unclick, undo record, click pop tile out, and now you have both your edits finished. Now you can close that edit window, and that clipboard thing pops up, I don't know why. But you can then open up a new edit, which is called Edit 8, I think. Um, you can rename it as well. Let's go ahead and rename that uh, timeline. And basically what you're going to be able to do is drag in your edited clips into here, position your cursor wherever you'd like, timeline, and then drag your second clip in. As you can see, we have both of these. If we click join, we can then go ahead and turn off the audio tracks if we like. We can group tracks as well. I'll group the audio tracks together again. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and show you a transition as well, which if you go in their video under uh, mixes, you can then choose from a couple different effects. We're going to choose a dissolve. We're going to click uh, centered here because we're in between the two clips, and we're going to change it to 32 frames for the duration. And then you can choose some different adjustments over here. And here's something that's similar to After Effects. If you go over here to the little picture of a graph, you can then adjust some of the settings here as well. I haven't totally figured that out yet, but it's something you can fool around with. 
I'm sure you can get good results. So here, if we go ahead, we can preview this video by clicking on space for play. You can see it dissolves into the next one, which is pretty cool. There's not a whole lot of effects you can do with this program, but some of them are pretty neat. Now you can go ahead and pop that tile out as well, and you've finished with that edit. So as you can see, you're grouping edits together in different windows. You're consolidating them. And what's really great about this, I'm just adding these to a bin here, nothing major. But what's great about this, you're not losing quality by exporting it to group clips together to make it more easier easier to manage. Um, you just have it all in one window. Nothing's been exported. And you just have different edits that can be added to more timelines just to keep uh, compiling the projects together. So now if you go over to render and export, you can choose your video settings as well. This is in more detail in our uh, last tutorial. Um, but these are just some of the basics, some of my tips and tricks for uh, your workspace in uh, Lightworks. And I hope this has been helpful to you. This is very similar to other programs you have where you can choose the codec uh, options and configure. So thanks, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.